Hello, my name is Luis with Techies. Welcome to the GD&T Tip of the Month. This is the first of three episodes, which includes inspection of Angularity. So let's begin. One of the things we need to understand about Angularity is the tolerance zone. The tolerance zone for Angularity is two parallel planes. It's not your typical method of uh, understanding angles, which starts with a point as the origin and kind of shoots out and we end up with a cone-shaped tolerance zone. That is not the case with angularity. So let's set up an angularity and understand uh, w how to inspect this. I have my height gauge here. I have the part that I have drawn up there and you can see I have the angled surface. Okay? Well, we want to set up the part in such a way that we can understand uh, what the angle truly is. And there'll be some surprises along the way when we, when we uh, set up the part. So let's just set this part up. And we have a sign bar here. The sign bar helps us level out the angle. And I may have to supplement a little bit to get it to, to the correct uh, height and level. And so if I do this, we've leveled out the angle. Say it's a 45 degree angle. I've tilted it enough to make that angle parallel with the granite plate, if you will. And now I can run the indicator and set it right on top. And of course, uh, move the indicator down. And as it touches, I'm going to run the indicator. Now I'm not going to really document anything. This is just demonstrating the method. And so you can see I would run it along the surface. And guess what? We're checking surface flatness and straightness for free. Okay, and so with angularity, tolerance zone is two parallel planes. I hope this helps. Well, remember at Techies, GD&T rules. We'll see you next month. Adios.